A movement has begun that encourages white people that it's perfectly fine to be white. Welcome back to What's Trending, I'm Ava Gordy. Be sure to like this video and subscribe for more stories. Apparently, there's a little casual movement going around called It's Okay to Be White, in which white people who are feeling oppressed get together to say, hey man, we're cool too. Honestly, I really don't know. I'm just doing my dang best to understand. At the University of Connecticut, conservative political blogger Lucian Wintrich was hired to give an It's Okay to Be White speech. Posters were plastered all over the school and posters were also being taken down all over the school. Facebook group Yukon College Republicans posted photos and said, quote, It is sad that our fellow students at Yukon have to take down or modify Lucian Wintrich's posters because they disagree with free speech and individualism. Don't worry, we put more up. So then he gave his speech, and barely a minute in, he talks about going to a bar with his pal. After placing my drink order, this fat girl. <laughs> And the speech essentially goes like that for 25 minutes. Lucian would try to say something, and the students would react in a negative fashion. At one point, they all started chanting, Go home, snowflake. Go home, snowflake. That was until a woman stole his script, and then Lucian chased after her, grabbed her, and then got arrested. <laughs> So she stole his speech, which she shouldn't have done, and he ran after her and um, wrapped his arm around her and pulled her back, which, I mean, he also shouldn't have done. Moving on. <laughs> so where did all of this stem from? Why is Lucian writing a speech called It's Okay to Be White? Well, would you be shooketh to find out that it was from 4chan? Around Halloween, 4chan devised a plan to post It's Okay to Be White posters on campuses and everywhere while they were dressed up in Halloween costumes for anonymity. Normies, then, would flip out. The next day came and tweets, Reddit posts, Facebook posts, blah bitty blah, all of normies freaking out. Soon enough, people were reporting the posters to campus police. The dean of Harvard Law said the stickers were, quote, intended to divide us from one another. HLS will not let that happen here. We live, work, teach, and learn together in a community that is stronger, better, and deeper because of our diversity, and because we encourage open, respectful, and constructive discourse. And those 4 channels were like, boom, we got them. We got the left to say that being white isn't okay. Booyah, suckers, that's what we wanted all along. At least that's what I expected them to say. I don't know. And this dude really figured it out. Presumably the dean of students would be just fine with students saying it's okay to be black, it's okay to be Hispanic, or it's okay to be Asian. Those would be received as expressions of diversity and how beautiful and vibrant it is. But when white people say it's okay to be white, that's apparently no longer diversity. Oh, and then the creator of Minecraft got involved too. <laughs> he tweeted, quote, it's okay to be white, and followed up when someone replied, it's okay to be black too, saying, quote, absolutely. So that's the gag here, folks. If you respond with anger, you're the problem. That is what they wanted. They wanted people who believe in equality to go against that by saying it's not okay to be white. That is the gag. And to be honest, I'm just wondering why anyone would want to prank somebody into going against equality to prove a point when you could just chill instead. Have a snack. I guess it's because some white people are feeling hurt. NPR reported a poll by Robert Wood Johnson Foundation and the Harvard T.H. Chan School of Public Health said that more than half of white people surveyed said that they believe there is discrimination against white people in America today. So there it is, guys. That's the It's Okay to Be White movement. What do you think of their ideals? Let us know in the comments below. Like this video and subscribe for more What's Trending.